On September 20th, people around the world and here in the Treasure Valley held a climate strike. They rallied to demand lawmakers take action against climate change. A seventh grade science teacher at Heritage Middle School in Meridian put his own twist on it. It's one example of how this week's innovative educator is creating a climate of learning. Someone would drive by, they'd either honk, roll down their window, wave. Drivers passing by Heritage Middle School in Meridian on September 20th saw some enthusiastic 7th graders on the sidewalk holding up signs with slogans such as work together to stop climate change and do a deed help the world in need and may the forest be with you. It was their very local version of the climate strike that happened around the world when kids and adults rallied to demand action on climate change. These students focused on raising awareness. We just held them up and so, you know, people will see it, they'll be aware, maybe they'll look something up on their phone. And on learning the science. My focus is on what actually is climate change? Because it's one of those things where, you know, they hear it in the world around them, but they don't necessarily understand the science behind it. The students also went to other classes to teach mini lessons and asked kids to consider signing pledges. Not everybody has access to get in a car or to go to the state capitol or go to an organized rally, but we have an opportunity in here where we can do some structured learning and then we can raise some awareness. Seventh grade life science teacher Micah Lauer came up with the lesson plan because of its timeliness and because he saw it as a chance for the kids to see that even at 12 or 13, they have a voice. To impact people and potentially the decisions they make about how they live their lives. And that they can have an impact. You can influence things. You can make decisions about what you throw away or recycle. Seventh grader Jasper Taylor got that. Me and classmates will have the chance, like people will listen to us and we won't be like just push to the side. Lauer kept in mind that climate change is also a controversial political issue. And I did have a couple kids throughout the week who said, I'm not sure I believe in this or at home we don't really believe in this. And I just simply asked them to engage with the science and to raise questions and seek answers to the things that they're conflicted about. I'm still learning because there's a lot to know about how, you know, different species and what it's doing to our environment. The climate change lesson is just one example of his style of teaching. If you are a learner right now, you're not yet an expert on cells, so you've got some things to demonstrate. The day we were there, the focus was on cells. So you get to communicate it however you want. So if you're doing a poster, you could include a panel with those directions. Lauer doesn't just teach his students. He creates an environment of encouragement and initiative. I'm on the side guiding them and giving them the tools, the resources, and the opportunities so that they can drive their learning. The students seem to respond to that. I do agree, like he said, he wouldn't like really give out a test or quiz because science isn't like about memorizing facts and stuff. It's more like hands-on stuff. And at the end of the school day, Lauer goes home fulfilled. Energized but tired at the same time. So it's this kind of duality of, of wow, this is kind of exhausting, but at the same time, we did something really cool. Micah Lauer this week's Innovative Educator. And Mr. Lauer also does a lot in education outside his seventh grade classroom. He is a teacher consultant with the Boise State Writing Project. He sat on the committee that wrote the Idaho State Science Standards and he testified about them before the House Education Committee. And in 2015, he received the Presidential Award for Excellence in Math and Science Teaching. If you'd like to nominate a teacher as an Innovative Educator, you can do that. Just email us at InnovativeEducator at KTVB.com. Wow, that's an impressive teacher yeah. right there. They all are. And impressive kids, too. They just took up that lesson and, and ran with it and learned a lot. And really taking their time to learn about the issue. Which On their own, too. It's yeah. wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Doug.